Welcome back one and all. Ready to do one of the most annoying Kozoa shrines this game has to offer? It's not so, well, getting through it kind of annoying, but... Not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got burned. Oh, well, at least I got some food out of it. Uh, Alright, this one, as soon as you put the switch down, jump. See all these spikes in here? If you touch them, they're gonna hurt. So you kinda gotta navigate through the spikes. If you stay kinda to the left, you should avoid most of them by the time the water gets all the way down. Even if you just touch them on the side, it hurts. And then you have to kinda get through here quickly. Before the gate closes. This one isn't so, well, it is kind of annoying, but not so bad. Now, well, there he is. So that wasn't too hard. But, uh, sorry, yeah. Doing this really is hard. The test of fear? Yeah, test of fear. They really should call this the test of frustration. Or test of patience. Because this is what it is. What you have to do is you have to kind of keep the red line. Shit's gonna happen around you. Don't pay attention to it. Just focus on the red line, staying within the green. Usually when something really bad is about to happen, it swings to the left or right. I missed it. And guess what? You get sent right back to the beginning. It's really annoying and unnecessary. Like, I know they want to make it all that, but they really make it too difficult. But it's it's also, like, sort of a memory game. Yeah. Knowing where, like, the... See, all the enemies respawn, but none of the friggin' health does. But, I mean, that's okay. I mean, if you die in this temple, you're just gonna, like, come back to uh, the beginning of a temple if you just continue, so it's no big deal. It's just highly annoying. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, yeah, test of fear. Okay, let's get up. let's get this on. So you want to try to keep it in the middle of the green thing as much as possible. Probably hearing a bunch of clickety click click. Just don't pay attention to the screen. Just don't pay attention to the screen at all. Nothing going to happen. It's just all in your mind. Damn. Now that's what I call intense. It really is. Like my heart is beating. And it's not that it's scary or anything, it's just that it's really gets you. So just try to keep that red line in the middle of the uh, green square. Should be okay, do not look around you. It's like natural test of fear, like... Focus on what you need to do, and not what's stopping you. Whew. Also, it doesn't help that it's freaking hot in here, and I'm boiling. That wasn't so bad, second time around. 
I never did show you what uh, happens if you lose any of the Lightfoot tests. I don't think it will still do it if I lose them now. Uh, let's fill up here. So yeah, that's pretty much how the format of the game goes. You get a Spellstone, then you get a Kurzoa Spirit, then you get a Spellstone, then you get a Kurzoa Spirit. You get a purple-eyed fox. There we go. Hmm, that that was intense. Now I'm starting to calm down a bit more. This is not my favorite place, people. So you should be about 60% done, I think. Now, I don't remember if I have to see... I think I have to see the... Uh... Oh, guess not. A little tricky, you can't... it's hard to see those. Oh, there's a life rabbit over here, but I think I'm full. Yeah, got one. I don't think they're that bad, because I think they just keep respawning anyways. Even after you've got them, I think after a while they they just respawn. But that doing that test of fear thing, I mean there's that weird light. Didn't you see that with crystal? I forget. I missed those items. Fox just circles around everything. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. We're going home. I think that's what do you gotta say, Slip? Slippy here! Oh, yeah. Come back when you need me! Slippy! Hi, Fox! World map down! Crystal Palace. Keep going. Wait, where the hell is. Peppy here! I'll display the world map! I guess the Crisola Palace is always on the is like Scatters on the other side. Indicate that this is your current position. Okay, the flashing dots show where you need to go next. There's the volcano force point. We pass, like Scanners that. indicate that this is your current position. Thank you. Scanners indicate oh, to... highlight a level and scanners indicate There's the ocean that this... point. Check the detail readout. Scanners Snow Fox, I have been Fox. I have been studying your mission. Read the information on screen. Okay, well anyways, we're going back to the thorn tail. Village, so we'll head back there. Oh, you said when in doubt, head there. Oh, crap. See, it'd just be so nice if after you visit an area like Cape Claw or the Lightfoot Village or something, you can just go to the warp zone and choose where you want to go. That probably would make the game a little less frustrating. A little less drawn out. There you go. Bye you, bye you. I got choked by the boys in my dreams. What do we got up here? I don't remember if the... Oh, they do. Cool. So I always thought it... I always remember having trouble getting money in this game. Maybe I just never really bothered to search for it before. Are you asleep, buddy? Ah, uh, Krizoa. Are you ready to go to Krizoa Palace? Damn straight. It doesn't crush me there. Fox goes on another acid trip. It's like the black hole. Maybe you'll see his father. Yeah, they really don't have much story in terms of uh, creep. Like this has no impact on 
like Tricky and Crystal Yash yeah, show up in the next game, Star Fox Assault, but they don't really have much. It doesn't have much of an impact on uh, the Star Fox universe. Although, I guess none of the games really have much of an impact on any any of the universes. There we go. Oh no wait, I want some of this. Yeah, you shake that tail fox. So I think this is the one where Crystal was, I think. Ow. <laughs> uh, don't think we can get back to that one yet. I'll have to eventually go there. I think that's where the last one goes. Is there anything under here? Other than me falling to my death? really nothing back here. So I was just kind of exploring. I don't think I've ever bothered to come back here. Like I said, I, I don't play this part of the game very much. Usually I get to like the Lightfoot Village and it's, like, that's it. That's as far as I go. I don't want to do no more. I think it's this one. No, it's definitely not this one. Hey, you get different items to help you through the game. Can't remember what I don't even know what floor I'm on. There's no like numbering. I mean this is the worst hotel I've ever been in. Third one yet? Get away from me. Oh, yeah, this is the one I believe I want to be in. Because usually it takes like some item that you recently gained in the forest. Or in the in the fortress that you just visited. Now show your crystal your spirit. Release your spirit all over Crystal. There you go. So that makes three down. I think three to go. I think I believe there's six. Yeah. Five or six. I don't remember. I think it's probably six. What hand is he in? He came, he went in the uh, left hand, but he came back in the right hand. Uh, I don't know where are we going. Hi, Fox. It's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. Come back. I think this guy here probably won. My eggs. They're stealing my eggs. Please help. Huh? Uh huh. Huh? Oh, I think you can figure out what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like hitting these guys. So they don't take her eggs. Yeah. 
Like those little creatures from Aliens. No, nope, Fox, go around. Well, I lost. I'll try better in the next episode. So folks, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.